Time now for keys to the game. Brought to you by Fresh Pets. Yeah, I think it's really important for us. Welcome to back to the in the Reno, the Nevada. Receivers, uh, ball control for Nevada. Keep the offense off the field for SMU. And then for Nevada defensively, get Preston Stowe moving out of the pocket. Get him off his pivot foot. Throw the timing off for SMU as they're trying to go fast in this football game. Nobody started faster last year than SMU. They were the best first quarter team in all of college football. Brett Lashley. The offensive guru, he does call the play. Jeff Choate, of course, terrific defensive mind. He was the D coordinator at Texas for the last three years. Chris Smalley there to make the stop. Nevada's defense, this guy plays the jack position. Henry Ikahifo. Yeah, he's going to be looking to be on a tear tonight, disrupting the operations for SMU's offense. He's the key. Rashard Smith. Carries again. Interesting note on this guy. He was a all ACC player last year as a specialist for Miami, a wide receiver and a return specialist. They like him as a running back, and that's where he is in SMU's attack starting this game. Firing to the sideline, it's broken up. Boy, nicely done. Jordan Hudson was the intended receiver. Michael Coates Jr. got between him and the ball. These cornerbacks for Nevada so far have really been glued to these wide receivers. Another exceptional pass break up there for this defense. Michael Coach Jr. that time reading that route. Smith in the backfield, pitching it to Daniels around the left side, and Daniels across the 40, out to midfield. Roderick Daniels Jr. is one of six wide receivers who had great years last year. Well, he's got incredible speed. One of 47 players to return a punt for a touchdown last season. He's got great versatility. They love to get him the ball in space. They have a player down right now for Nevada, and there's flags that are flying all over the place. Uh-oh, flags are everywhere. Down away from those flags, and then something happened. Jordan Hudson and Ika Hihifo, I believe, got tangled up. There's three flags sitting right now at the 40-yard line. Well, Ikehifo has got to be careful right there. He could potentially be thrown out the game. Now, obviously, something must have happened. There's a slap in the face. He's defending his teammate. It's always got to be something <laughs> trouble. Something That's the there. first game of the season. Play that caused the injury to the Nevada football player there. Yeah, the injury happened well before that. It was in the play. And you wonder was the initial flag on Hudson and obviously the other flags were for Ika Hihifo. Well, they need him in this football game. It'll be interesting to see how the refs sort of decipher what to do in this situation. You got a slap to the head. Let's see it here. Fouls by both teams. Unsportsmanlike conduct, SMU number eight. Unsportsmanlike conduct, Nevada number eight. Unsportsmanlike conduct, Nevada number zero. All their first for the game. Those fouls offset. The result of the play is a first down. So it sounded like a pair of personal fouls on Nevada, right? Chris Ross number eight and Ika Hihifo number zero. And then Hudson, number eight for SMU. Now with the being two on the side, let's see you what again. Happened. These guys sharing, oh! a sharing a likeness for one another, obviously, on the field right now. Sharing is not caring <laughs> in that sense. All right, let's so get back to playing some football. Yeah, the ball sits just uh, at the 45. Rashard Smith in the backfield. SMU, as we told you, it was a fast starting team last year. Nobody scored more points in the first quarter than they did. Their second drive, a little quick screen. RJ Maryland, the big tight end. And another flag comes out. Oh man, another flag comes out. Oh no. Right here. Couldn't tell which number. It's gonna be a hole. There, Justin Osborne, number 51, 
getting called for the hold and one of the most versatile players of them on that offensive line can play all five positions, but that time just undisciplined with his hands, getting the holding penalty. So on first down and a lot, Jalen Knighton is hit, bounces backwards and out of bounds. I don't know if he got back to the original line of scrimmage or not. Yes, he did, and it would be a, a gain of about a yard. Well, Nelson and Ropati had him initially in the backfield. It's a great broken tackle by Jalen Knight, making something out of nothing. But let's look at this SMU offense and just the prowess of how many, how much they're able to score. They score so quickly, and they've outscored their opponents so much last season in the first quarter. Knight in the backfield here. Second and 20. Stone, quick throw. That's knocked down. And this Nevada defense who already has an interception, is aggressive, and right now stopping SMU. Oh, wow, that was Watts, and that nearly could have been six points. Drew Watts just hanging out in the middle of the defense there, got his hands up, and able to knock the ball down. Quick pass right here from SMU. I don't think they're going to try to challenge this defense down the field. If I'm SMU, I do a draw play to the running back or a quick screen pass to one of my wide receivers in this situation. Play the field position. Four receiver look. Nevada is going to bring four. Stone. He can run. Squares. Fires. Incomplete. Jake Bailey, the intended receiver, and Nevada's defense holds again. Actually, not a bad decision there by Preston Stone. He found some space out to the left, and I mean, he's, if he's able to get that ball just a tad bit down, Jake Bailey, who's one of his favorite targets, will come down with that, and that would have been a first down. Nonetheless, it's a fourth down, and they're in another punting situation here. Isaac Pearson has the wind with him, so a line drive punt is going to scoop pretty good. Bellin makes the catch at the 20, trying to get outside, cuts inside. Bellin, who was a terrific returner before transferring from UTEP. Nice return. And a smallest start in Chile, Reno tonight. Good morning, everybody.